This week on the Yoga Dream Journey, I talk about laser-like focus. Pew, 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 pew. We all have these things we want to do in our lives. Goals, dreams, aspirations, call it whatever you want. And the earth-shakingly sad fact is we never take a shot. But I want to invite you to watch me as I take a shot at bettering myself and bettering my life in a raw and unfiltered weekly documentary called The Yoga Dream Journey. Welcome to week 10 of the Yoga Dream Journey. You guys are not going to believe what I did. Three hours of work today. Oh yeah, that's right. I was at my desk editing, doing what I need to be doing. But right now, it's the evening and I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I've decided that this week is all about laser light focus and I have very specific things I need to do each day. Now I know I talked about this in time management, you know, like a few uh, weeks ago, but um, really I need to just dial in and get everything very specific as to what I need to be doing because um, yeah, it's just it, time management is still an issue and laser like focus every single day, very specific things I must get done to accomplish what what I believe in, my dreams, accomplish my dreams. I just got done with an hour of work this morning. Putting in one hour of work in the morning is essential to being able to stay on track and get caught up. I keep talking about getting caught up and I'm gonna dive into more about exactly what that is. But right now, I have to drive to work. So I gotta do the work thing, the job life, and then gonna come back tonight and work on my dream life a lot more. Well, and I am off of work. Time to head home and start hitting it hard. Gonna show you what I mean by trying to get caught up. Let me explain to you what I mean by getting caught up. I say this a lot and you must think, oh gosh, he's so behind all the time. What is he doing? And the fact is I'm actually ahead. Now I have three YouTube videos, three yoga classes that I do every single week for my YouTube channel. And I'm actually three weeks ahead on that. I plan everything out so I have a backlog of content that I can push out. But the problem is this. If you are ahead, your brain will tempt you into thinking, oh, maybe I can actually, you know, give myself some leeway time. But that's unacceptable because you get too tempted, you know, and that that's that is what it comes down to is I'm talking about laser like focus. So as soon as soon as content is made, I need to be editing that as fast and as quick as possible because it is too tempting to let things kind of build up because there is a built in leeway time. So it's kind of like this double-edged sword where you think, oh, I'm ahead, but I'm actually behind. And so that is the kind of big mystery behind everything that this week is all about getting rid of. No more mystery, none of that waiting crap. It's time to absolutely dive in and do everything as quick as possible. So for example, the Yoga Dream Journey, I wait about five days before I put it out. And yeah, that's a good thing to do, but I need to edit every single day as quickly as possible. So what I wrote here is that basically this is a lot of content each week and therefore it is vital to avoid a backlog of editing. As soon as content is created, then it is best to edit that footage as quickly as possible. Good morning, hello, it is April 29th, I think. This is day 67 of the yoga dream journey and driving to work. 
it is actually um, snowing right now and uh, just some little flurries in the air, which is kind of nice. Wanted to let everybody know that I've decided to also do a detox this week. Yesterday I was vegetarian, today I am vegan, tomorrow is a juice fast, and then I'll step it back out. I'll go back into being vegan and then vegetarian for a day, and then uh, back into my regular diet. And I think it's just good as kind of a like little quick cleanse thing. Um, more of like a kind of a, a GI tract, like get cleared out and um, you know, purging all those bad things. So that's the scoop, headed to work, and um, probably should not be uh, filming this while I'm driving, so I'll talk to you later. So I'm totally gonna be late for work, but I just had to come up here into the foothills real quick to show you a pretty sweet shot. And there you have it, it is basically uh, the end of April, almost May, and snow in Albuquerque, and it's absolutely beautiful. Good morning, it is Sunday, and I am going to record, get all that going. Also, it is the juice fast part of my um, detox, doing a little five day detox, vegetarian, vegan. Today is the uh, juice detox, juices all day, and then stepping it back out, vegan, vegetarian, back to my normal diet. I haven't had any food, but I feel good. All right, it is the evening and the end of Sunday, which is the juice fast day. I haven't had any food all day, just a lot of juice, and um, I feel really hungry and really tired. So it's pretty early, it's like 10. I think I'm gonna go to bed. So I will eat some food tomorrow. I am so excited to eat food, you guys. Well, it is day 69, I think. Okay, so let's all open up our Reading is Fun books to page 69. 69. <laughs> and um, it is Monday. This is very important. What I'm doing right here right now is walking around, taking a break after a long morning work session. Now, we all, let's, let's have some real talk here, right? We all know the most um, important productive hours of our day. For me, it's in the morning and then in the evening. In the middle of the day, I'm pretty worthless. I mean, if I need to sit at a desk and do very focused uh, work, it's probably not gonna happen. It's very grueling. It is actually quite painful. So this whole week is about laser-like focus and I need to, you know, understand when I am most productive. And that is basically right after I wake up, up until about, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon, and then take a break for a while and then hit it hard in the evening. And, you know, yes, I can do other things that are more active during the afternoon, but I think that's what I'm talking about is a uh, real talk here is that, you know, we need to just honor when we are the most productive and really get the more tedious things done during those times. And we often will find ourselves scheduling something during one of those, like the afternoon when you're, you know, really tired. And who are we kidding? You know, we're not going to get anything done. So we end up procrastinating and not getting those things done that we need to get done. So that's just what I wanted to say about the laser like focus is Put the most tedious stuff that you need to do during your most productive times so you'll just get it done and you'll just get it out of the way. It is day 70 of the yoga dream journey and I was craving some eggs this morning so got a breakfast burrito. I know eggs are not vegetarian but you know still I'm bending the rules a little bit as I incorporate things back into my diet.
Thank you so much for watching. This wraps up week 10 of the yoga dream journey. It has been about laser-like focus. And while I've been doing the yoga dream journey for about 10 weeks, I've been building out yoga to Mexico for about 20 weeks. When I first started, it took me about 55 to 60 extra work hours a week to get everything I need to get done done. Now, it only takes me about 30 to 35 hours a week to get things done because of this laser-like focus. I want to share with you a specific strategy of how I have done this. All has to do with deadlines. So let's assume that you are a student and you are in school and you have an essay that is due on Friday. That is your deadline. You must do this essay by Friday. But then you also have all this extra credit work that you can do anytime during the school year. Now the extra credit work is important because it's only going to benefit you as a student or in this case as an entrepreneur. What I've done in the past 20 weeks consistently is really focus on Wednesday and Thursday is doing extra credit work. This does two things. One, it obviously benefits me as an entrepreneur, you know, as, as a student, right, in our analogy. Also, when we get to Friday, I am forced into absolutely writing the essay and getting it done by Friday. Or in this case, maybe it's uploading a YouTube video that I still need to edit. That is kind of the heat that I've put on myself for the past 20 weeks to be able to get to the point I am at now. When I started, 55 hours a week, and now it's down to 30 to 35 hours a week. All of that extra credit work, the yoga dream journey has now become an actual thing. Three posts on Instagram every single day. I'm really honing in, getting super focused as to what I need to put out every single week. So that's the strategy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the numbers. They're coming right up. Love you guys. Take care.